Hi everybody, my name is Timothy Trespass, and I am a targeted individual. Uh, I just wanted to comment on something about people that I used to know that were once very fond of me and that I was very fond of. Uh, that actually took me in and cared for me and were like surrogate parents for a number of years. They were such a blessing. Uh, some of the only rational, sane, normal, successful people that I've ever really known. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, we kept in touch for many years and even as I was going through this stuff but didn't realize it. And of course, everybody looks at you like you're going crazy. Everybody looks at you like you've got a problem, something's wrong with your mind, or you're doing too much drugs, or whatever they can come up with, whatever rationale they use to make it comforting to themselves that something is wrong with you and not the world. And, you know, it's just so weird. Like, I understand that nobody has any anything for me, you know, there's no reason anybody needs to care for me, there's no obligation anyone has to do anything for me, um, you know, even with, like, biological family, which, uh, as I, I mentioned, I was put up for adoption, uh, at birth, or four months or whatever, and, um, never met my biological parents until I was about 30, and of course, the father is has a new life with his own kids and wife and whatever. And I met him once. My mother is, uh, again, her own life with another son. I have a half-brother, but, you know, as much as we speak, there's not a lot we can do for one another as far as uh, finances or putting each other up or whatever. You know, she lives in this little tiny house. But anyway, it's just weird, you know, I, I have these abandonment issues because I was told from the moment I was, you know, whatever, a, a baby that I was adopted and all the stuff about being adopted and it was very disturbing. Um, and so I guess I went on this, you know, there was another child that was adopted and brought back because she was too broken or something and of course that makes my parents always wonder am I broken, you know, it, it's just weird. Um, and so it turns out that at age four I was like wandering off down the street knocking on strangers doors saying, hi, my name is Timothy, can I live with you? I guess I was looking for a family, you know, even though I had one, there was clearly something wrong in my heart or my soul or my mind or something, you know, I knew something wasn't right here. Um, which I'm sure estranged my parents even more. And these people, these successful, intelligent people that took me in for many years, they helped me get through high school and they put me, sent me back to school. And they, you know, they did. It was a blessing. It was really, really. I've never met anybody that generous, that kind, and that willing to teach and. You know, I guess I was cute, or I was funny, or I was something, you know, enough that they cared. But now, it's weird, like, this stuff started happening, and it was almost as if they knew. You know, I called them, and they were like, uh... And, you know, before I even told them the story, they seemed to have known it. I guess maybe somebody else told them. And now, when I call them, they're really put offish, like, uh... They don't say it, but it's like, no, don't come over here. We don't want to see you. We're not going to invite you over for dinner. We don't really want to talk to you. We don't want to know about your life. Just go and live it. I mean, they don't really say that, but that's basically what they said, you know? I came back to say hello and, you know, try to tell them what I was going through and maybe hoping they could help, because as far as I know, they own several buildings, you know, with many, many apartments in them over the years, they've managed to, you know, but, uh, now I get this really put offish, like, more than arm's distance, like, don't, it's just, it, not only is it painful emotionally to, to be abandoned yet again by, you know, your surrogate parents, 
I guess that's the retarded development thing that I never quite got over. You know, if you never get... I, I don't know, I never got over it. Whether it's right or wrong, or good or bad, or... You know, it is what it is. We have our emotions, and although we may understand them, or not understand them, or we know that they're inappropriate, or, or whatever, they still feel. You know, you carry this stuff around. Here's another example of this painful carrying stuff around thing. My father, my adoptive father, grew up in a small town, West Warren, Massachusetts. And his family, his father and mother, they had a house. And the house had, it was like a two-family house. And they grew up in it. My father, his mother and father, his three sisters. And then when they all moved out and went away to life and his last sister was married to Uncle Peter and Peter and Sophie stayed in the house, lived in the house, another generation of trespasses. So that's three or two, two or three, I don't know if the grandparents lived there or not. You know, possibly through the Great Depression, but definitely through World War II. And uh, all kinds of whatever, hard times, good times, bad times, you know, it was the kind of place where they had chickens and they had, it's on a mountain and, um, but when my uncle and aunt died, rather than anybody saying, gee, you know, we could give Tim this house and he and his wife could live in it for the rest of their days and they could have a little bit of rental income which would pay the taxes and, no, it was